Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. It's sort of amazing how people like to pretend they're in charge of other people. It's the mentality of I am a slave master and I am going to enslave you to my will. Actually, you're not. You see, in the world of men, we have a life balance metric. And that life balance metric says, I'm going to put my life in balance by having faith in my version of God. Family in my areas of what I choose to have and who I choose to have in my life. Fitness in terms of my controls over what I choose to do with my body and my cellular internal health. At the same time, I'm going to be regulating that, paying attention to that, and knowing what I can and can't eat and what is for me actually a treat. We also have then next finances, and finances is how we make our living. We are either earning a hourly wage, we might be earning a salary, or we're earning on project work, or stipend work, or short-term work, or long-term work, but we're doing it as an entrepreneur. Beyond that, there are other areas of life balance in terms of uh, fellowship or friendship, but philanthropy is one that often ends out that life balance. Whether you use six areas of life balance or eight areas of life balance for infinite life balance in terms of eight, that's up to you, just as it is up to me. But what I'm telling you is if your life is out of whack because you're so busy under attack or being an attacking person, an assaultive person, an aggressive person, a satanic person on someone else's life, then your life is out of balance. But here's the thing I can say to the people that are poor in their position. You are poor in your position because you have chosen to be poor in your position, is what many people will say. And there is some truth to that. But at the same time, there are people who attack people to interfere and impede with every aspect of their life balance, so that they, in their marvelous and stupid minds, can say, see, that one's a failure when technically they're not. You have caused them to fail. You have chosen to attack a life in front of God who had a different plan for that person's life than what you are planning. You see, you're trying to be God to someone. Who left you in charge of doing that? Do we do that to you? Is there someone trying to play God in your life? I don't think so. What I think is that your life is out of balance. What I think is your arrogance is off charts. And what I think is at some point God is going to humble you in such a way that you can't get out of it. Because here's the deal. For the example of people cyber hacking me and interfering with every audio file, every video file that I create, and hacking off time and hacking off content, you are foolish to think that the companies aren't knowing what you're doing. You see, the more time they can put you in jail is based on the more videos that you hack. And at some point they'll go, you know what, we need this marketing play in the community so now it's time to go on the attack and hack into the people that are abusing other people's rights in our company and their relationships to us. 